Hi, welcome, welcome. Uh, my name is Alexia, also the owner of MJ Alleyway LLC. Um, really what my business is, is just crafting because I really uh, suck at sticking to a niche. Uh, so yeah, I'm just kind of like, I just kind of go with it. So I used to make YouTube videos a while back, like beauty review stuff here and there. But it's been a really long time since I've been on YouTube. I watch a ton of crochet YouTube videos, like a ton. Typically it's when I'm crocheting, but I watch like the market prep videos and you know, what the market prep and I'm like, you know what? Like I do that, like I do that. So why don't I take a video of it? Because the people might want to see me do that, you know? So I've been crocheting since uh, on and off. Like I learned when I was seven by my great grandmother, but not like amigurumi, emi, amigurumi, right? Is that what I said? Um, not doing that until this year. As soon as I made one plushie, and I couldn't stand the first one that I made. I will insert a picture, but could stand it. People loved it, and it sold. I was like, okay. And I just continued and continued and continued and now it's like I'm obsessed with it and I own like a freaking bajillion patterns and I can't wait to make my own someday and but yeah all that other stuff is for another video so we're just gonna get into this okay so I tend to give myself way too much stuff to do and create unrealistic goals it's just the type of girl I am like it's just what we do here so I already know that it's a little ambitious, everything I plan to get done. My first market is the first weekend of November. So I think it's like November 4th or something. Um, and then I have one, I think, I think I have one the first three weekends of November and then I have two in December. Everything that I plan to make before the first weekend of November. And it is now September, 20th? I don't know. Around there. So I have everything that I plan to make, but I don't have the quantity because I feel like that's where I really get reckless. Like I'll be like, I want to make 50 of this, 20 of this, and it's just... No. So I need to... I, I figure that if I make something, then I can gauge how many I think I'm willing to make before I get bored or um like how long it might take me so yeah we'll see the quantity as time goes on but i have them separated by jumbo plushies what do i have over here on my um ipad large plushies medium plushies and small plushies and it's just kind of like i just kind of put them in like a price range and that's how i threw them in there now i have to create the pattern first to be able to like really put it in that price range because if it's a difficult pattern even if it's smaller like I'm gonna sell it for more because I, I just won't be willing to let go of it um for less than I guess I mean we'll just start with the jumbo plushies um I don't even know until I do this like what size they're gonna work up to so just just kind of like ignore that her name is Ina she is on Etsy yeah the hyena pattern looks really cool um I think it's very different I'm trying to go for different when it comes to these markets because you know as much as I it's like okay yeah like I'm probably gonna make leggy frogs like I'm pretty sure that's on my list here and it's a popular it's popular and it sells but I also want to make things that are just that I don't really like see popping up on social media too much and they're just like a little bit different anyway her hyena pattern also her horse pattern and I'm wanting to turn the horse pattern into a unicorn as well. And I'd love to be able to make multiples of the horse. Um, I actually start it. Um, so here we have the horse's head with no ears, you know. And then these are just so freaking cute to me. Ugh. We have the hooves. And I have two more that are semi-finished out in the living room. So, um, 
yeah, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a pretty big plushie. So that's why I have it in jumbo. I don't know. That's what I have for the really, really large ones right now. Next for my large plushies. Um, I'll try to make this big, okay? Um, because I like to talk a lot and I don't know. I don't really mind when other people talk a lot in these crochet videos because I'm typically crocheting. So I'm like, whatever, just spill your heart out. I don't care. But anyway, so uh, I would like to make the Fox by uh, Saucy Puffin. Um, I just think it's really cute. Then I have Boho Turtles. They are so fun to make. Putting the colors together, are, it's so fun. And um, they're easy. Like they're not, they're definitely beginner friendly um, in my opinion, at least. Um, so that is by um, Raven and Jade, which I have a lot of their patterns on here because Raven and Jade, like she, pff, patterns are just so cool. I have Lolly Lamb by um, Bonnie K. I've not made this one before. Stephanie Brooks, the zebra. I just think it looks really cool. It's it's definitely um, a cool little, I just like the color changes and I think they look really good. So I wanna do her um, zebra pattern. Then I have uh, Crochet Grove. She just came out with this um, bear pattern and it is so freaking cute. And I wanna make that. I wanna make it like, I'm hoping to be able to make the different variants of it have like maybe three or four of them but we'll see because i haven't made it yet don't know how long it's going to take me all from jade her land turtle i don't remember the name of the turtle but again i will have it somewhere around here. another pattern of hers that i want to make is her twisted squid i just think that's so freaking cool uh now she like she like twists the legs with um a drill and I, I feel like these would work out pretty quick because typically when I make squids, jellyfish, whatever, the, the tentacles are what take so long. Katie Did's Hatching Cow. I feel like I've made this before. I have made so many plushies this year. Um, I actually have my stuff in a local store here. If you're uh, from Southern Mississippi or around this area, uh, it's very well known store called the lucky rabbit um super cool in there amazing great love that place so much um i have my stuff in a store there and i've been basically working on a weekly deadline I'm actually pulling my stuff from there because my husband's military and we are leaving mississippi in january so i'm pulling myself I'm pulling my stuff from the store end of this month and then i'm going to just strictly do market, market prep stuff since we're leaving in January anyway, um, I just want to focus on, you know, not stressing myself out too much and just focus on one thing. But I want to make this cow. I want to make multiple of this cow because they're just so freaking cute. I don't know, Mom Stitch Eddie, okay? I want to do her hippo pattern. I have never done a hippo from her. I want to do Ollie from um, Meg's Makes. I just love space. I think space is so cool and he's so cute. And I think doing different colors of Ollie would be really fun too. I also have a pattern by Katie Dids. Um, it's a cat pattern, I've never done it. I made one of these, except for I turned it into a pumpkin sprout by Raven and Jade. Um, such a cute pattern, so unique. I, I just, I wanna make a couple of these. It sold the first day, I, the first day after I put it in the store that was open, it sold and um, not for like super cheap either because I have to pay a percentage to the store. So I definitely had to like mark myself up, stuff up a little bit higher there and it was gone, like it was sold right away. Cause it's just different. And I'd like to make um, a sprout or two. I also made one of these uh, Whimsy Folk by Raven and Jade. Like this pattern so fun. There's so many different things that you can do with it. And I would love to make multiples of these. Again, a very unique and different uh, pattern. Um, they're just they're just really pretty to me. Little Bears uh, by Mar Marisa Toys. Um, they're just really cute and 
I want to make a few of them. These patterns, they're by Rin Miao. I want to do the tiger, the flower piggy, and the cat by Rin Miao. It's just like the cutest. I, I've done a lot of octos, but um, I actually have a couple here. Um, they don't have eyes yet because I want them to have um, felt eyes and I need to make some. And so I'm like, well, I can just make these up and then um, I can just put the felt eyes on them later. I have this one too. I don't know why one's bigger than the other. I have to figure that out, um, whatever, I don't know. Again, I make this stuff sometimes when my three-year-old is singing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star a million times or something. So um, it's, sometimes it's hard to count, but um, I wanna make these in the, the rainbow of this, with this kind of yarn, which this is the, um, the ombre yarn. Some of it's ombre and some of it's the, the dappled baby blanket. This is the dappled baby blanket. So like this would be more of like the, um, probably like the bluer or greens color in, in the rainbow. Probably the, probably the green. Uh, and then I have, I have my crochet hook in there, but, um, the purple. So these come in basically like every color of the rainbow. And I just think that they're cool because they just give different shades. Um, so if I made the rainbow like multiple times, it, they'd all be different colors, but still the rainbow, you know? I just love their little curly legs. And these work up like really quick. I have Mallard Ducks Penguins by Cozy Stitch. I have made these before, um, work up very quick. I have, I do have legged frog, leggy frogs by um, Not Jaded Co. You know, leggy frogs, they work up really fast and they are, I feel like they're just always gonna be a great seller. Um, they always sell really quick for me. Then I have, um, you know, Mabel Chickens, which are extremely popular uh, by Oak and Marlowe, I'm pretty sure. And uh, these are just really easy to make. They, they probably are like one of like the quickest plushies to make. Those and bees are just so quick and um, people love them as well. So I, I do want to make a good bit of them. Now we all know Tofu the turtle that makes makes, okay? These are extremely easy to make as well. They're just so freaking cute and I plan to make a lot of these. I have made these um, in the past uh, and they sell right away. Um, I just think that they're just so cute and uh, yeah, I want to make the land and the sea because she came out with a um, a sea turtle modification for it. Now this, um, I have it as the easy dino pattern because I was able to make so many of these one afternoon. So easy, like, and they're no so. It's by Sweet Softies and they have it on their blog for free. I have to make these giraffes by do, 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 do. Bumby. These Bumby designs, they're just really cute. They're different. I haven't seen them around too much. And yeah, they just look really cute. So I wanna make them. Okay, the Mush Crush by Crochet Crochet. I've made a lot of these. They sell very well. And uh, they're very easy to make and you can do them in different colors and stuff. And they have little dangly leggies and they're cute. Um, Hannah Gurumi, she just came out with an owl pattern. I want to make 50 million of these, you know, I'll probably end up being able to make like one or two, but they just look really cute. And I'm excited to do this pattern. I actually feel like I want to do this, that next, after I get done this horse, because I am very much like, okay, I know how to make this now. I'm like halfway done it. I'll finish it later and then I do something else. So I need to not do that. I, I just want to finish. I want to pick something and I want to finish it. And I want to make multiple of those in that moment because I won't come back and do it well. Um, of course, I want to do keychains. I'll probably just do like some octopi, uh, again, like the ones I showed you earlier, just mini. Uh, turtle, I'll probably do maybe like little tofu turtles for keychains. I was thinking of doing like the maple chicken as a keychain. And then um, the Mushy Boys by Chunky Crochet. These are also very, very popular, but I, um, I think I want to make those, but for, just for keychains. And then things that aren't like the typical plushy, you know, thing uh, that I want to make is um, the tablet 
sleeve by Jelly Donut and Kindle sleeve, whatever. Uh, these are just really pretty and I think that they'll be really fun to put colors together and they'd be like a great Christmas present, especially if somebody's getting an iPad for their Christmas um, present or something. So I just wanna make a lot of those. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna make like hats and and all that because I, again, I live in Mississippi, rarely gets cold here. I mean, maybe to people who are from here, they're like, they think it gets cold, but I feel like it doesn't get cold here. Like right now it's probably like 90 degrees outside and um, I just, I don't, I don't care for the heat, but last winter people were like, oh, it's so cold, but it was like 40 something on like the coldest days. I'm from Pennsylvania, so, you know, it just, uh, no, mm -mm. it's not cold to me, but I don't know. I might, we'll see. I don't know. I don't know if I want to make any like accessory type things. Uh, we'll see how much time I have. Um, maybe scrunchies. I've made a lot of scrunchies. Um, they work up really quick. So I have the, um, the pattern for mom made minis and it's just like these cute little mushrooms. I think they'd be really cute on a tray and I feel like they would sell really well. So I'd like to make some of those and then I want to make some of the little gnomes by uh, Raven and Jade, which is a new-ish pattern, I think. I think it's new, it's a new pattern. Um, I wanna make a bunch of those as little ornaments. And then I think that's like it for like Christmas, winter stuff. I don't think I wanna make anything else. Um, we'll see. Um, I'll probably go completely off of this list. Who knows? Like, I was just looking at patterns before I got on this video and I'm like, oh, I want to make this and I want to make that. And I'm like, I need to just stick to what I've already written up because I already have so many things that I want to make. So many. I don't know. I don't want to be cheesy and say like, subscribe. Because it's like, if you like my stuff, you'll probably subscribe. I don't know. I don't really know. Like, like and subscribe. If you want. I mean, I don't really gotta tell you to do that. Oh my goodness, there's so many dragonflies. Okay, anyway, I will link all the patterns down below. I will um, put my social medias. I have TikTok and Instagram. I, social media is like, it's a lot to keep up with too, on top of all this stuff. But I, yeah, I'm grateful that you came to watch my video and um, I hope to see you here again.